here with redshirt sophomore Michael Stan to preview the 2019-20 Concordia wrestling season. And as we record it, uh, we're only maybe two, three weeks out from the official start of the season. Um, and you redshirted your first year at, at Concordia. What did you do to kind of make the, the most of your time uh, over that period to be ready for what you were able to do last year? Yeah. So the redshirt year was me coming back from my injury. So it was kind of like a whole remake of like my wrestling style a little bit. Since I was coming back, I kind of like it took a year off of wrestling. It's a lot to kind of try to, okay, you know, like what moves am I going to like feel comfortable with now? Like what's my knee capable of? So I was really just getting ready to feel comfortable with my knee again, I'd say. Just kind of getting the feel for it and like kind of see what moves and what strategies I use. Mm -hmm. So how much re more prepared are you uh, right now compared to a year ago? Uh, I would say a lot more, just because I'm feeling comfortable again. Like I think feeling comfortable is the biggest thing in wrestling. You know, if you go out there and you're kind of tense and you're scared, then you're not going to wrestle to your full ability, but starting to comfort back into it. And I, and I know you were kind of a, a little bit underweight for a, a heavyweight yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how, what have you done to, to maybe prepare yourself yeah. to excel even more this season? Yeah, just a lot of, they've always wanted me to get up and weight, even since high school, they wanted me to get up and weight, but this summer I just started lifting a lot and just eating was the biggest thing, so I've gained like 30 pounds from last year and I hope, I'm looking forward to see how that weight plays a factor in like the start of these tournaments and stuff like that, so it's exciting to see. And, you know, at the same time, you still did, did quite well first team all conference and you qualified for nationals. Was there anything that surprised you about maybe how successful things went last year? Uh, that's probably my style. Like what I kind of went back to, like like I said, Retro was trying to figure out and then I was kind of trying to work into a new style. But last year I kind of went back into the style I had in high school and I started getting more comfortable with that. So I think it surprised me that my original comfort with the way I wrestled did so well. And, and as I mentioned, you got a taste of what the, the national championships are like. How does that motivate you to want to wanna get back there again? Yeah, every tournament, every hard tournament I've ever been to, I didn't do really well right off the bat, but getting the feel, like I said, comfort, being there that first year, you don't know what's going on, you know, but this year I have a, expectation I know what's happening it feels like you're more in control of what's going on like you know what's about to happen and wrestling certainly a, kind of an individualized sport in, in many ways but you're still within a, a team atmosphere how do you guys make sure you have that sense of, of togetherness and, and what's the team chemistry yeah. like for this team well, we got a lot of guys from California, so and me being from California helps a lot. You know, you got a lot of things to bounce off each other, but everybody just has to do their jobs, really, is what it comes down to. It's the same thing as football and volleyball and everything. If everybody does their jobs, then, you know, we're going to come out successful. What have been some, maybe some major themes or, or areas uh, of the sport that have been an emphasis in this preseason for you guys? Probably say right around just like persistence I would say like uh, really coming in every day and putting the same energy and the same like focus on certain aspects of your wrestling to improve those you know like not really focusing on your losses and what you can improve on but focusing on how to get the positions better and just really just getting better every day I feel like it's <laughs> you already talked about it, there being a lot of California guys in, in this program. Uh, why was Concordia the right place for you to, to come this far away from home? Well, originally it was Nicola, the coach. So he coached back in California at Cal Baptist. Brought a lot of the California guys out here. I feel like he put the scope a lot out in California. So just having a California coach kind of made us, I feel like, feel more comfortable coming out here. So then we came out, tried it out, and it's a nice place. We like it. Right. What attracted you to the sport of wrestling in the first place? Maybe you've been doing it since you're a little tight. <laughs> I just saw so I started freshman year of high school just because my football coach told me, like, it's like, ah, it's good to keep you in shape, you know. 
So I just kind of started working in with it, and then I met the coach, and my high school coaches are amazing, so they kind of really, like, they put a, like, a sticky note in your mind, you know, like, they're always making you think about wrestling. Like, even when you go home, like, you're eating dinner, they're making you think about wrestling, and that just made me, like, okay, well, move away from football, and I moved into wrestling a little bit more, so just that little process. <laughs> a lot of people, I think, feel like the, the toughest thing must about being a wrestler must be always having to manage your weight. Uh, <laughs> what what do you find that being the toughest thing about excelling as a wrestler? I would say excelling, mental toughness, I would say. Honestly, like I said, at least for me, the biggest thing is feeling calm on the mat. And like the biggest thing is just getting over like like you gotta love winning more than you hate or like are afraid of losing you know like you should if you lose you take it like okay whatever and then you move on to the next match but it just it's a big it's a big stimulus in your mind you know like you can't be afraid you just gotta want to on the flip side what do you find most rewarding about wrestling just having fun <laughs> like honestly like I've done a lot of sports you know in my life and just wrestling it's just it's fun to go out there it's like literally you versus the other guy you know like if he gets the best you it's like huh you know I'm like good job you know like gave it my all and you beat me so like just gotta work on a few things but it just the fairness in it. What are some routines that maybe you go through before a match to, to get your mind right and, and to mentally prepare yourself? Yeah that's I don't even <laughs> you know, like, I kind of like, you try something new every match, and one match, if you do bad, then you try to think, like, what did I do before that match to make me feel that way? But really, I just like joking around. Like, if I go in there, like, it's not a big deal at all, then I usually do a lot better. So, I'm sure you have your own uh, individual goals and, and expectations for yourself, but what, what kinds of achievements do you and your, your teammates talk about wanting to accomplish this season? Mm -hmm. I feel like what I want this program to get to, I want it to be everybody in the GPAC is just like, it's nothing. You know, like our focus is nationals. Like GPAC should just be like, okay, we're gonna get GPAC and then move to nationals. Like having that mindset, like, oh, let's just go crush these kids and then get to where we actually have some competition, I feel like, just getting to that level would be where I want to take this program. All right, that's all for the, the serious questions. I have a few things okay. about Halloween here. Oh, okay, that's, perfect. Uh, this one seems to be a little divisive as okay. fuck. What, what do you think of candy corn? It's all right. I think it's all right. It's one of those things, like you eat it, and you're like, oh, you know, you don't ever want to eat it, but then you eat it, and you're like, oh, it's pretty good. Like, all right, you know. <laughs> So this time of year, you're okay having some. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite Halloween movie? Oh, God. It depends on the mood. You can go like scary, try to be real scary, you know, or you can go like, oh, fun, and you know, like Jack Skeleton-ish. I'd probably pick scary right now just because like, I don't know, I feel like it. It's not cold yet, you know, get out there, you still have a little light in the morning and stuff. Like the original Halloweens, maybe. Yeah. Those are a little scary. Yeah. Is, what's the last costume you can remember, like going trick or treating in? The only one I remember really is like when I was a little kid and I dressed up as Spider Man, and it was like, it's, I live in California, but it was cold to me and it was really thin, so I was just like cold the whole entire time. <laughs> but like, that's the only like really memorable one I had. Right. Like, and it was probably like 60 degrees. It was probably or like something. 60 degrees, yeah, <laughs> but I was a little, you know. Uh, what's the best Halloween prank that either you've played on somebody or maybe somebody has played on you? Probably putting those little poppers everywhere. Like, there was like, it wasn't even Halloween, it was like the next day, but like, just a bunch of the people, like, we had like a little party and everybody like set up little like, pop stations everywhere so if you open something then it would pop out and crap like that just like it was stupid but yeah <laughs> probably like the best one it was fun <laughs>